Super Nintendo SP's Game Room, and welcome to Brave Dungeon and Dark Witch Story Combat, the latter of which will be played. Shega. So it was, humans who were able to use the power of the power of the power of the power of the power. 多くの学者がシェガーを研究し新しい力魔法が生まれたしかし魔法にもいまだに多くの謎が残されている一部のシェガーの魔力は強力であり特別な器を用意することで魔力を封印した魔力が封じられたものを人はマジックアイテムと呼んだ時が流れ過去に多く作られたマジックアイテムが世界の各所に眠っているというしかしそれらの多くは危険なダンジョンなどにあり研究者が手に入れるのは容易ではなかったその危険な場所へと足を運び生活している猛者たちがいる人々は彼らをトレジャーファイターと呼んだ今ここに一人のトレジャーファイターが新たな冒険へと向かおうとしている彼女の名前はあるその大きな鎌から死神の愛称で呼ばれる彼女は人間族が未踏のダンジョンに挑戦しようとしていた果たして彼女は無事にダンジョンを踏破しマジックアイテムを手に入れることができるだろうか Now I've played through Brave Dungeon on 3DS, so I am rather familiar with how it works. And it is a pretty well made, it is a pretty well made JRPG. game works is you move around re revealing the map slow. Now in this instance I have no other choice but to confront this monster. So you can do plenty of things. You know, your normal attack. In this instance I'm going to want to use the spread attack. Now Unfortunately for me, I didn't stand a chance because this is the last dungeon in the game. <laughs> so poor I did not stand a chance. <laughs> Stupid move, I tell you. <laughs> ごめんね、グデーって伸びてるお前さんを宿山で運んできてくれたんだよ。あれ、そうだったの？おかしいのはお前さんの記憶だよ。さあさ、ここは休憩所じゃないんだ。目が覚めたんならさっさと出て行き
I know it, it really makes sense for, you know, new players to be seeing this, but for someone who has played through the game not once but twice, this is pretty darn funny. <laughs> okay, so in this game, the roster actually got changed up from the 3DS version. In the original version, you had Papalna, Rudy, who is... I haven't played the game through with her at all, mostly because she seems to be the type that you should be playing solo through. I played with Papalna and Stolge for the first run, and it made things pretty breezy. Mary, she seems to be an interesting one. Because she's more of your main, you're more of your blue mage, you know, status effects and things. Cleansey, if the original, in the original, I thought it was odd as hell that she was not included because you know she's your wizard, your black mage. Now Neville, it says inactive type. I have no idea. It'll be interesting to see these two. Mages. I mean, they work together technically because they're in the same library. So, just for the sake of keeping things interesting, I'm going to go with the two new characters. And in my second playthrough, I'll go through with... With Rudy alone. Maybe the third one I'll go with... Clancy... Papalna and hopefully I'll have and I saw in one of the images of, of, of the game that yes this time well spoiler alert I won't say anything should read these out loud, out loud, huh? What should I do? If you want to get to, if you want to get the best of God's shell, then you're gonna need to get stronger. Of course, it'll be impossible for you to do to, to do on your own. So you gotta out start thinking, start out thinking about making a part. In any case, if you want to get stronger, then you should go for a walk around Newport. About dungeon. Just heading straight for, to God's Hill is far too reckless. You should start with Elberstone, the Cavern of Fire. If you don't go too deep, it shouldn't be a big deal. When it comes to dungeons, it's best to cast your net wide but shallow at the start. Besides, you'll need a key to get to deeper into dungeons, but you're going to have to beat some powerful beast men for that. Well, where you go and what you do is your choice in the end. Good luck out there. About the party, you'd best not be thinking about going into a dungeon alone again. There are a bunch of humans and beast men lazing around here, so you should think you should take some along. It's probably a good idea to try swapping out your allies too. Though I guess if you went alone, you'd get to keep all the treasure for yourself. Now you do get an achievement for doing it alone, but I'm a little too excited about the new characters. And I'm even starting to get a little itch for playing as Rudy herself. I don't want to fight! Dungeons are crawling with dangerous monsters. 
if you fight every last one you come across, you're gonna exhaust yourself. So it's important to avoid monsters while moving and find hidden, pa hidden passengers, passages to avoid them from time to time. In any case, once you fully map the floor, you can avoid monsters to your heart's content. Bull crap! Can't do that! About lunchtime. This ain't just an inn, you know. It's a place to get a good meal, too. I don't want to boast, but this is probably the best place in all of Belfer Island. Of course, well, I'll just let you eat for free. How do you get a meal, then? By completing requests. Once you complete a request, you'll be given lunch coins. These are what you need to get a meal. The menu and the flavor of the food depends on how I'm feeling at the time, though, so I won't hear any complaints. About magic items. I thought you'd know at least... you'd at least know about magic items. Which I does, so that's penetrating the fourth wall to the player. Oh, the exchange? You'll find it as soon as you exit the inn. It's right, it's right next door. The more you exchange, the higher number of magic items you can take with you to dungeons. Also, magic items used in dungeons will, all, will automatically replenish when you get back to Newport. So don't go holding back, you hear? About the bots. There are a bunch of magic spells in dungeons you, that can really ruin an adventurer's mood. If you get poisoned, you'll take damage over time. If you're put to sleep, well, no duh. And a bunch of other spells will, will hinder you too. Empty will empty your capacity and make you unable to use spells. Shouldn't you know about the, more about this than me anyway, being an adventurer at all? That is another fourth ball break. I guess you won't have too much to worry about on the early dungeon floors anyway, though. So, the rest of them are locked out right now. Now, I'll tell you about the rest. Myself. Now, this happens maybe every 10 levels or so. So, let's go to Overstow. The Red Hot Dungeon. The Cave of Flames where heroes embark. to imagine that Neville is your black mage. While I? Well, with the exception of a certain move, he's nothing but an attack hound. But you can blame it. Which you can blame her. <laughs> <laughs> He's reading a book, I didn't even notice. Now, there's not much need for me to worry about HP for now. Oh, hello. Now that'll allow me a shortcut. Ooh. 
Well, isn't that obvious? I mean, it's a keypad. There shouldn't have needed to be any dialogue for that. Although, it was a nice little touch, too. It's kind of nice that there are shortcut buttons. Three of them in a row, huh? I'm not yet ready for that. Oh, well, technically, I... There we go. Hello! Just what I needed. Okay. So the way accessories work is much like your equipable armor or ring etc. in other role-playing games. Now considering I is most definitely your attack player unless you have Rudy, then you're better off doing that. Oh man, he's about to get knocked out. I want to see what his revenge move is. Zone of Dark, huh? Oh, I remember that one. That was cool. Now, how do I remember that? Because I'm a huge fan of the Dark Witch series. Legend of Dark Witch. It's an amazing Mega Man style series. Mega Man slash Gradius style series. Now I thought that the second one was perfection. I don't even understand why they went with with what they did with the third, which basically was regression. It made the it made the second playthrough with the second character just tell. That's not right. They should have made it more interesting like they did with the second one. Where the player plays very differently, but it's not all that hard. I mean, kind of like Mega Man and Bass. It may be seemingly easier to play Bass, but that's not the case. Bass, uh, bass played more for Mega Man X type things. Which is really cool because it encompassed all Mega Man fans. Though I'm rather disappointed that in Mega Man 9 and 10, 8 and, I mean 9 and 10, it, yeah, 9 and 10, 9 and 10, huh. Shoot, in Mega Man 10, that he did not have any upgrades. Oh man, eyes down. I have no items. This is a problem. Oh, that is cool. Oh, no! Finish 
finish the boss! Oh dear. Woo! Either this works or I'm finished. Yes! Woo! Ah, too bad for the other two. You know, that did not feel like such a good victory after that. Damn. Unbelievable. Well, bummer. Now I'm gonna try and play as long as I can. See what I can make. Uh, no. Nada. Alright, so I can't make anything right now. Bummer. Total bummer. I guess I should go to Medina. Boom. That was no need. Oh. Nailed it. Okay. So that will allow me to take a shortcut later. Back in all back at Alverstone, I was better off. No, I wouldn't have been better off. Shoot. I really would have been better off just annihilating the rest of the enemies that's clumsy. Trying my best to make, you know, the music and stuff audible to me, very audible to me, and yet have my voice go over it. It's not easy. I don't have like a microphone ampl amplifier, so 
I'm doing the best I can. I mean, you know, the troubles of being a budget gamer. <laughs> troubles that, you know, most of your YouTubers don't really have. What? Is the map button? Oh yeah, why? So down to the left and up. What? Oh, there's the path I didn't go. Wrong way. That is the boss. Let's not do that yet. The old Neville. Which, even though Neville is said to be a she, let's face it, it's not a she. Neville is not a she. A few of these characters are not female, and I can tell that immediately. So, don't be going about saying that this is an all-lady game. And in fact, I would think that the, that the developer should start acknowledging that some of these aren't women. Neville is a great example of that. These characters who are clearly men should just be acknowledged as such. Oh, did I jump the gun a little bit? Maybe. Uh-oh! I wish I could have ran, but whatever. Ugh! It's deja vu! Oh yeah, I lost on the first boss in the original my first time around, too. Oh dear, this is nothing new to old Scotty P. Ah. Total not on. Materials. There's no need for that. Well, let's do this. Uh, not great, but it's better than nothing. not a drive. So, my pizza that I was supposed to have, say, while I was recording this or whatnot, I totally goofed up and left it in the van. And now I'm going to have to cook. Oh, for shame. So don't be surprised if I end up cutting this episode off in an episode. Auto here. Well, what do you know?
guy. Especially when I'm here alone at home like I am right now. It's weird. I mean, I'm talking of whenever somebody's around. Yeah, I'm trying very, very hard not to, you know, open too many series up at once. So with this particular game, I don't think that I'm going to upload, you know, immediately. Today being the 23rd of March. You're probably going to see it sometime in May. For those of you who really want to be silly and get under my coat, go ahead. Write down how long it took me to get to uploading this series of videos. <laughs> I'd probably end up laughing <laughs> like I am now. Just that it's pretty funny thinking about it. Whoops, of course. Here I'm just plowing through the place exploring and oh I run into the door. Nice. Okay, they're having a pretty easy time knocking enemies out now. Yellow sugar? Isn't that speed? Oh, defense. Excellent. Now, I'm used to flawless Shega. I'm used to, you know, high levels and all that, but... Hey, when I saw that there were new characters in this particular game, I'm like, it might be worth playing the remake. And so far, this has not been a rebreak. Yes, another a reference to another series, okay. Ouch! Maybe I still don't stand a chance? It took me playing as Patel the solo to beat this one before. That was not enough. Wow. So, I'm going to have to end on this anticlimactic note. I'm getting pretty hungry. This is Scott from Super Nintendo SP's Game Room. Yeah, Super Nintendo SP is my screen name technically, but... But hey, if you look at the background of all my webcam videos, you'd see my name pretty clearly, so... Anyway... If you find- if you found any moment funny, press the like button. If you- if you want more retro content, especially Switch content as of late, and video gaming shenanigans in general, like what happened with me, Mom, and her friend Chris, be sure to subscribe. At least for now, this is Scott. Out. You have a good one.